This chandelier is rough, but whatever. Is it? I mean, how rough is it? Because I. It's peaking out a little. How about? Mm. Or. I think go the other way. Okay. Yep, that looks way better. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. What's up everybody? Welcome back to A Day in the Field. We're gonna do just a real quick pack dump just to kind of show you some of the things that we're taking this year, starting with the bow, which is the same. It is a Matthews Verdict. I shoot it about 65 pounds. It's a 28 and a half inch draw. I have a Trophy Ridge React 1 sight. I like a one pin. I get pin confusion really easy. And so the single pin works great. You know, QAD follow arrests is kind of the standard. I'm shooting a B3 Alpha trigger release wrist strap. This is what I've always shot and it's just what's comfortable for me. Two arrows, I shoot a 340 gold tip Hunter XT, no nonsense. Nocturnal, lighted knocks, because I kinda like to see where my stuff goes. As far as broadheads go, I'm shooting the QAD Exodus. I've been on these for a while. I did actually did a broadhead review video last year. I shoot a lot of broadheads and these are my favorite ones. I've got a list of things to try this year as far as whitetail goes, but for something that I really, really, really want to make sure that works, I'm going with the Exodus. Bino harness, just a random browning bino harness that I found. I love it because it's like 65 bucks and it's already got two pockets on the side, a pocket in the back, and a big pocket for bigger binos. I run a 12 by 50. It's a loophole 12 by 50, it's old. Also, the mesh pockets on the side where I keep a wind indicator and a bite and blow cow call, Phelps bite and blow right here. And then I've got, um, oops. I don't break it trying to put it back in. And then got a pocket in the back, which I use for where my pistol goes. From there, new pack this year, because I gave away the one we took last year, and I hope that one's doing well. This is a Mystery Ranch Metcalf. I did not know when I bought it that apparently this is Randy Newberg's favorite pack, so that makes me feel better about things. Uh, Randy Newberg, as most of you know, is very famous, done a lot of elk hunting, and this is his favorite pack, so very serendipitous that I bought this. So it's got the little hood on it in this front pocket. This top one, I've got my water filtration, stuff that I'm gonna need. I've got a thermos for making coffee and liquid IV and such. And then a like, small, very small, like, Leatherman utility, some of the liquid IV and coffees, and also my rain fly. Stuff that I know I'm gonna need quick. From there, this next one is I, things I'm not gonna need as much, like moleskin tape for blisters, a bag of lighters, which we talked about last week. Fire was a big problem last year, so we very much wanna make sure that it's not a problem this year. Knife sharpener, just in case. And then also, I always have a saw with me, whether I'm whitetail hunting or elk hunting or anything hunting, I always have a saw with me. Getting away from, oh, I don't know what that was. Some straps just fell off. Moving down the line here, this is my bugle tube. I think it's the Phelps Renegade. It's big, but it sounds really good. And I don't know, I'm sure there's better ones out there. So comment what you like. I've got a lot of Phelps stuff, but I'm not necessarily like married to them or anything so comment what you guys like as far as calls go and bugle tube goes because like I said this is pretty big and I wouldn't mind moving down to something smaller I just, I just don't necessarily know what to move to getting into the pack a little bit I don't have any food or anything in here right now uh, these are my camp shoes they're just hey dudes um, we'll put those over there uh, this is a little bit of a kill kit it's just a bag of 
game bags, which I use just the Alaska guide game bags, just the old standards. It's like cheesecloths. I know they make better ones out there, but this always seems to work really well for me. And I'm sure I'll get to a point where it's not working anymore, but right now it is. Our, my skinning knives are in this bag with the game bags. This is a vest actually that I just got from canvas back. It's really, really warm. It's a puffy vest that kind of like pushes down into this pocket. And my favorite thing about it is it's got like old man pockets. You know how all, all old men just kind of sit with their hands on their gut. It's really comfortable to do that. And it's got specific pockets for old man sitting. And I'm a real big fan of that. So big ups to canvas back. I really like this. I think it's going to do really well. Just gloves just thrown in here randomly. There's also a side zipper over here that I can get to something in the bottom if I need to. Fly box, because obviously we camp next to a lake and there's a lot of great fishing to be had. I also have small game heads in here. Um, oh, <laughs> Zoe decided she wanted to be in the video for a minute. So I've also got small game heads in here. Rain jacket, this is just a pretty standard Columbia rain jacket. It worked well last year. It's been in Alaska fishing and it's done really well. So why swap what works? This is a Kuyu Kenai Puffy. This is one of the older versions of this, but I really like it. it's really, really warm and it packs down really low. This is just a Merino hoodie, a light Merino hoodie. I think it's, again, it's Kuyu. I don't know if it's the 240 quarter zip, something like that, but this is great. I love the fact that it has thumb holes. I have really long arms for the rest of my body, so having those thumb holes really helps keep everything locked down if I'm taking puffy jackets or rain jackets on and off, keeping my sleeves out, because that's the worst when you try to put on a jacket and your sleeves roll up on you. Uh, this is kind of what I'm gonna wear as far as just like a base deal. This is a Kuyu Merino t-shirt. I think it's like the Peloton 118. If I'm not mistaken, I just have it in a solid. These pants are Wrangler, they're outdoor line. And for the money, these are fantastic. I think you can find these for like 30 bucks and they are insane. I love these pants. I've got a lot of different colors in them. I hunted in them all last year and I actually wore a different set of these pants on the elk hunt last year. I really can't say enough good things about these. Getting down to the bottom, I think the last thing in here is this is just a oddball catch for a lot of the camera stuff. So like cleaning things for lenses, for sensors, also some power banks to charge batteries while we're out there and a lot of charging cables are in here. This is my entire sleep system in this dump pouch right here and it looks big. Here, I'll go ahead and grab this. It's my little... It's my puffy blanket, which is an Alps mountaineering, just down blanket. I don't necessarily like the constriction of a sleeping bag. I found that out last year that the way I sleep is kind of all over the place and I don't like being confined. So I'm just going straight blanket. And then my sleeping pad is a Climate Static V. It's a smaller sleeping pad. I don't necessarily say that I love it, but it works, it's small. And then I actually have a full pillow in here. It's an Alps mountaineering backpacking pillow that I have, and it's all kind of jammed down here into this 20 liter dump sack. Some random things that aren't here. My boots are the Schnee's Divide. They're a Flex 2 boot. They are pretty stiff if you're not used to a mountain boot. I had talked to Schnee's a couple weeks ago and I asked him about break-in period because I was struggling with them at first and they said it takes somewhere between 15 to 20 miles for them to really break in. So I've really been hitting it hard with these, trying to get as much hiking in with them as I can. They're slowly starting to feel better, but you're gonna need to put in a lot of time with them. And that's what we're, I'm actually wearing them right now. That's why they're not on the table because I'm trying to like keep them keep them on and keep them broke in. Outside of that, got a lot of camera stuff that we're taking. Food's not in here, but you know, obviously we're taking a lot of freeze dried meals. We're going peak refuel this year on that. This seems like a lot of stuff. We weighed the pack right before we uh, dumped it all out. As it sits with all this, it only weighs like 23 and a half pounds. And then adding, you know, your freeze dried food and a couple other like random things. I think we're gonna get up the mountain for under 30, which considering last year, it was closer to 70 and 80 pounds that we were going up the mountain is gonna be a lot better. Hopefully this year, we do a better job with our gear and do a better job of actually bringing one home 
and then we'll have different things to bellyache about next summer when we have to do another one because we're going to have to upgrade more things. Go find some of this stuff if you want it, if you need it. This is what is going in the woods with me this year on this Colorado elk hunt, and I hope that you guys have a lucky season as well. And deer seasons have already started in some places. Antelope seasons have already started in some places. So y'all get out, get after it. Y'all know, I gotta say it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hopefully we'll all have full freezers by the time fall. Ah, God, so close. Hopefully we'll all have full freezers by the time this fall is over. Thank you guys so much for watching.